Hi everyone and welcome to NameHero.com. In this video, I wanna teach you how to set up reseller hosting accounts using your VPS hosting package with us here at NameHero. So at NameHero, we're primarily known for providing high quality reseller hosting. And um, right now I'm on our reseller hosting page. Now what we see is a lot of our reseller customers, they wanna be able to offer resellers reselling packages to their customers. It only makes sense. Eventually, if you're a reseller web host, eventually you wanna offer what is also referred to as a master reseller account. And that's what these are. These allow you to have your customers be able to sell, sell different packages to their end users. So essentially, you become a reseller web host. Now, you cannot do this with our reseller packages. You have to have your own server, your own VPS. So if you have um, signed up and have your own VPS with us, then congratulations. You can begin offering reseller packages to your end users. So I'm going to show you how to do this. It's um, very simple and straightforward. Um, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do it manually. But then if you're following along, I'm doing a course called VPS Hosting 101. And I'm doing this on our blog at namehero.com startup. And you can go there, click on training center at the top and you can register for this course for free so if you're watching this video on our blog or on our YouTube channel um, make sure you head over to our blog to enroll for free into our course because it's going to show you how to um, I'm also going to have videos on how to integrate this with WHMCS so you can create these reseller accounts automatically and on the fly for your customers much like we do at namehero.com uh, but for this video I just want to show you how to create a uh, master reseller account and how to turn a customer into a reseller so right here, I'm in Web Host Manager, and if you have a VPS with us, you have access to Web Host Manager. On the left side here, you're going to notice a whole new section called Resellers, and you have many different options here. You can change the ownership of an account, so when you have customers in Web Host Manager, they're all assigned to you as root, but then if you have resellers, the actual customer account will be assigned to the respective reseller. So this way, that reseller can, when they log into their Web Host Manager, because they'll also have a copy of WHM, they can only see their customers. They can't see your customers. So that's what makes this really so versatile and, and so useful. Now, me personally, even if you're not offering reseller hosting to your sub-customers, maybe you just want to offer your sub-customers the ability to create cPanels on their own. So especially if you have a, let's say you're running an SEO agency or a web development agency, and let's say you have a customer that has 10 websites. Well, you want that customer to be able to create cPanel accounts for each of their websites and manage them all in one place. Well, you could give them reseller privileges to where they have their own web host manager login, and then they don't have to bother you each time they want a new website added. They can simply do it on their, um, on their side. So this is where you manage it all. Um, so the change account um, ownership's one. If you want to change multiple accounts, um, you can edit the current resellers if we don't have any. You can also email the resellers. So if you want to send them an, an email you know, just to those specific customers. Um, you can manage their um, IP delegation. If you've been following along with our VPS Hosting 101 course, you know I've got a tutorial on having shared and dedicated IPs. Um, you might want to dedicate an IP address for a specific reseller to share. We do this at Name Hero all the time. When someone orders a corporate reseller package from us, they get their own dedicated IP address to use for them and their customers. In this way, it really increases their email deliverability rate. So I recommend doing that, um, especially if you have those IPs at your um, disposal. Okay, so this is more IP stuff and Reseller Center. This is where you're actually going to give the privileges to a user. So this is assuming that you've already created a cPanel account for the specific domain. Now again, if you're using WHMCS for your hosting business, which most web hosts do, you can automate this. And I will discuss that in full detail in another video. But I wanna show you how to do it here in Web Host Manager. So in Web Host Manager right now, on my example VPS server, I've got key diets and namehero.org. Well, namehero.org, this is my primary domain, so I wanna add reseller privileges to key diets. So I'm gonna select their, um, the username and domain here, and I'm gonna click add, but you'll notice right below here it says make the new reseller own their own account. Well, this means it takes the ownership away from the root user and gives it to them, so it shows up in their web host manager. Nine chances out of 10, you wanna do this. So I'm just gonna click on add. Reseller privileges have been granted to key diets. So now we can click on reseller center and we're gonna get a bunch of new menus where we can control them fully. So what we can do is, it is, if you want to add to another reseller, here's this, which we've already added our key diets. If you want to remove the privileges, you would do it here. 
we can get in here and we can do our change ownership or our emails or reset the permissions. The permissions is what I want to talk about. So what I want to do is reseller actions for key diets and you have these um, seven options here. So I want to click on edit reseller name servers and privileges. So this page here allows you to set specific privileges for this reseller. So if you want to limit the number of accounts, the number of cPanel accounts this reseller could create, you could click here to enable it, and you could set this to say 10. So now this reseller can only create 10 child cPanel accounts. Now at Name Hero, we allow all of our resellers to create unlimited accounts. Now if you look around the hosting industry, some companies set a limit um, and some don't. So it's really up to your specific business model. And I'm not going to say that forever we're going to allow unlimited accounts. But right now at Name Hero, we only limit off your actual bandwidth and disk usage. We don't limit anything else. We let you, you can create a thousand accounts if you want. While I don't recommend that, um, you're, because you have to use off your disk space. So our corporate reseller package comes with 100 gigabytes gigabytes of space. I personally recommend no more than 50 um, accounts inside of the corporate reseller package. Um, typically after that, I like to see you buy another package, not because I want your money, but for redundancy and reliability for your customers. It's not good to have all your eggs in one basket. And, and companies or, or people that tell you any different are mistaken. You need to spread out your customers, and that's for your own network reliability and redundancy policies. It's always bad. I don't like to have, uh, here Name Hero, it would be insane for us to have all customers on one server, right? That, that wouldn't make any sense because that one server goes offline, then every customer would be down. And while we don't expect downtime ever, sometimes it just happens. So that's why you want to diversify. The more reseller accounts you have, the more servers you have, you distribute your customers over them. That way that if you have a problem with one, not everyone's out. Could, could you imagine? I couldn't imagine here at Name Hero if we had everyone on one server and something went out. I couldn't imagine the number of phone calls, live chats, and tickets we would get. We already get an, on average a ton, hundreds, every single day. And so I could not imagine the, the amount of work that would be involved in that. So there's a little disclaimer there. Um, if you don't want to limit by accounts, then you can limit the accounts that they can create by resource usage. So this is what we do here at Name Hero. Is so for like our um, corporate reseller package, we allow for 100 gigabytes. That's 100,000 megabytes. So I would enter 100 and then one, two, three zeros. And then you have the option to oversell. So here's how that works. So with 100,000 megabytes or 100 gigabytes, the resellers are allowed, all your resellers um, collectively, are allowed to use up to 100,000 100, megabytes, not dollars, in um, space. Now, if you wanted to allow them to oversell this, meaning that they still can only use 100 gigabytes of space, but if you want them to offer more space to their customers, um, a process called overselling, then you can. Um, I think in the web hosting industry, every web host out there to stay competitive offers some sort of overselling, um, and that's just kind of how it is to, so you can compete with the pricing in the industry. And you make this work by having multiple servers, multiple resellers accounts, but it all goes down to you and your business model. No one knows your business model like you do. Um, so I'm going to click Overselling Allowed and Bandwidth. This allows only the amount of bandwidth this reseller can use. So at Name Hero, we allow the reseller to use two terabytes or 2,000 gigabytes. So that is two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, so two million megabytes, which would equal out 2,000 terabytes. So an overselling is allowed as well on that. And you can see here, unlimited is not acceptable here. If you want to use one of these, just set it to a very large number. Um, overselling means a reseller will be limited to the resources they actually have used instead of the resources they have been allocated. So this is up to you if you want to allow your, um, your child reseller to oversell. Um, again, it all goes back to you and your business model and um, your specific customers. Now you can also limit what account, what packages they can use. Here I only have one package set up here, which is an unlimited one. So you could actually create the packages then, and you can say, well, you can only use these packages. I don't like to do that. I like to give resellers the flexibility to create their own package. And then you can limit the accounts um, based on the packages. You can limit the resources based on the packages. So me personally, and especially here at Name Hero, I like to just limit based on the resource usage. I think that's the most, um, that's kind of the industry standard, and that's kind of the fairest thing in my opinion, is you kind of let the reseller have full control over their account. And you say, well, you can create as many accounts as you want, but you have to stay within your disk and your bandwidth. 
Now, since we're built on top of our high-speed cloud, and if you've deployed your VPS server in our high-speed cloud, you don't have to worry so much about overselling. Because if you need more disk space, or if you need more resources, you can scale up at the click of a button. Um, our VPSs go up to eight gigabytes of RAM, but if you need more, if you need a bigger server, we've got dedicated. And they're not on the site yet, but we kind of handle that on a case-by-case -case basis right now. They are going to be, next year in 2018, we are going to have cloud-dedicated servers. So that's the cool thing about being on the cloud, is you can really oversell because you're really not overselling. We're not using an old-school dedicated server that we have to unplug it and put another hard drive in it if we run out of disk space. No, we just scale up. We're in the cloud. This is 2017. Um, we're not doing the old school tactics. Next is the feature limits, the ACL list. Um, this You can load these so you can save this after you um, create these. And so basically this is the privileges that the reseller is allowed to create. So the web host manager's done a really good job in, in breaking these down um, based on what they can do. So for example, they have the first category is standard privileges. And um, these privileges are suitable for most reseller accounts. I have to agree. So we just add all standard. And you can go through each one of these individually if you want. Um, and this, this is the privileges that the reseller will have in Web Host Manager. Okay, scrolling down. Package privileges. These privileges control the limits on the reseller account package creation. So I like to um, add most all of these. Um, create packages with add-on domains, create packages with um, alias domains, create packages with, with dedicated IP address, create packages with, with shell access, create packages with unlimited features. I don't like to allow them to create unlimited disk and bandwidth. I like them to put a number in, um, especially if you are allowing this here, based on this here, you, they have to put a number in if they're going to be reselling under you. Now, this is up to you. Um, but it causes a lot of confusion when you allow that because if since they're allowed to only use the amount of resources, even though they can't oversell, you'll get a lot of questions if you enable unlimited. So just um, a heads up there. Um, additional software here, security and firewall. I don't recommend that. Um, I like the firewall to only be managed by the root administrator user. Um, again, that's up to you. It's your VPS. Um, you know your customers. If you know if your customers are very trusted people, then you can let them um, use that. But really, it's not needed. I know at Name Hero, our resellers do not have access to this. They have to ask our um, our support team. Uh, view server status, view information, this is up to you. I really don't um, like to give the global privileges. And you can see these are not suitable for most resellers. Um, so I don't allow this stuff. Um, super privileges, um, this is not suitable for most um, resellers. So again, you know, if you have a, a brother or a sister or a close relative that's going to be creating on your server, you can give this stuff to. But for the everyday reseller, I do not, do not recommend it. And root access, all of everything. Don't do that. <laughs> do not do this. I don't even know why they would put it in there. I, I just, being coming from a background of IT and stuff, um, root means root. It means one person. One person should have root access. You should not distribute that out because it's just too much of a security vulnerability. I mean, even if you are in an organization and you're going to give it to your CTO, okay, but that CTO should all be the only person that has it. And of course, the CEO. Okay, so once we make this list, we can save it. So we could just save this as our ACL list, which just makes us use these these features, especially once we're creating them inside of um, WHMCS automatically. We can pull this list. Some can call it basic. Next is name servers. Now these are the private name servers that the specific reseller is going to be using. So remember, we did key diets on this one. So here we will be doing ns1.key diets.com and ns2.keydiets.com as well. Now you'd want to configure the IP addresses for these. Um, for this instance, we're going to use the same IPs that we use on our main servers here. So we're going to use our main IP here. I'm going to paste that in there. I got a new keyboard and it really makes a pain for pasting stuff. And we need to grab our second IP. So we'll go to show IP. Grab this in another window. The second one, and this is a good thing about um, our configuration here at Name Heroes. We allow you to you can share these um, IPs uh, across name servers. So configure that. Now I would need to go in and actually register these name servers. Um, if so, if this reseller is a customer of yours, they have to actually register their private name servers at their domain registrar. I've got videos already all across Name Heroes on blog and as well in our training center. If you don't know how to do that, click Save All Settings. 
Okay, so now we've modified the reseller key diets. And now the um, reseller for key diets, our reseller, they can go to this URL, this IP address, um, it's colon 2087, and they can log in using their key diet username and the same password they use to get in the cPanel. But now they'll be able to get in Web Host Manager and they will be able to manage and add accounts. So they'll be able to add child accounts underneath of them. If I go back to Reseller Center, I'll be able to see this. Reseller Center, and I can go back and I can edit anything I just did. Um, I can log into Web Host Manager virtually as them. So this is what they would see. You can see they're inside of Web Host Manager. They've got their basic setup where they can edit their name servers. They've got their um, external connections, two-factor off, uh, many of the same features that you would have, um, but they're not able to see our other sites. Uh, since they are now a child reseller, they can't see all the domains on the system. They can just see theirs. Um, so if they want to create a new account, then they can, of course, do it here. They have to set up a package, though. Um, and I'll get into this here in another video, how they create a package inside of Web Host Manager, um, because I feel like that's important as well. We get a lot of support questions, actually. They'll look at it and say, default, cannot use due to limits. What's that mean? Well, it means they have to create a package first. Um, so that's it kind of is what it says it is. Um, but they can, you, know, you can go through here and see the options that they do have and what they are allowed to get into and what they are not. Um, but that's how you create master resellers on your VPS. This is probably the key reason why resellers get a um, VPS is so they can offer these type of packages um, to their customers because it just provides another revenue stream outside of just the basic shared hosting accounts. So that's how it works. Let us know if you have any questions. Um, and again, if you're following along um, on YouTube or on our blog, I recommend going to our training center. You can click on that at namehero.com slash startup and enrolling for free into our VPS host. 101 course. I do a lot of training in there how to get the most out of your VPS. And even if you do consider yourself an expert at VPS hosting, I feel like you'll learn a little bit uh, more, even if you want to just, you know, maybe use it for web hosting or maybe use it um, for client hosting. So um, be sure to check it out and let us know if you have any questions. But thanks a bunch and enjoy reseller hosting with namehero.com.